Good evening and welcome to NAZ Today. I'm Jennifer Miraval. Thanks for tuning in. The Arizona House Speaker David Gowan was in Flagstaff on Thursday touring the proposed site for a new veterans facility at McMillan's Mesa with members of the Flagstaff City Council. We spoke to Michaela Clark, our reporter, who has the details. The City of Flagstaff has donated the land at McMillan Mesa for a veterans facility that will have at least 60 rooms and be laid out similar to a retirement home or a dorm. There will be a kitchen, a recreational area, and they will have their own rooms. This is a spot where we're going to look to put up a home for the veterans. And we've done one at, at the state level in Tucson. Did that, got the money over in 2009, and they started building it in 10, and it's up now. So hopefully, if everything comes together properly, we're going to see a nice veterans home right here with this beautiful valley look. And we have to make sure we can get the dollars into the budget, which sounds like it's it's being referred right now. We have to make sure that it, it stays in there. And then at that point, that's the next year coming up in January, we'll do a budget process and we'll see how far we get. Before the facility can be built, there are several financial situations that need to be addressed. This facility will probably be in the $20 million range, 20 to $30 million. We need help. We need matching grant of one-third from the state, which is going to be about $10 million. And then once that happens, we get move up the list, and the federal government kicks in, and that'll be about another $20 million that'll get kicked in to get the facility built and operated. There are currently only three similar facilities in Arizona. If you're a veteran in Flagstaff, the reservation, or Williams, the nearest one is in Phoenix. They don't look for those extra things. They, they, don't, they don't look at themselves as extra human or heroes. But, you know, to me they are. They're, I'm not standing here with you. You're not standing there with me without these guys fighting for our freedoms. On that note, NAZ Today would like to thank our veterans for their services. For NAZ Today, I'm Michaela Clark.